All right, folks, this video, we're going to go over a quick BIOS overview for the MSI Pro B760M-A Wi-Fi DDR phone motherboard. It's LG 1700. I just picked this up. So it's one of the first times I'm uh, inside of it, checking it out. But uh, if you've had one MSI, you've had them all, right? Actually, that's not true. But uh, all right. So up here, we can see the time, the date. CPU speed, DDR speed. This is showing that XMP is enabled. And if we come over here, we see the CPU temp. I've got a Noctua NHU12S on this i3-13100F that you can see over there, as well as the motherboard. See the BIOS version. There is, uh, I believe, one or two updates out there, maybe a couple more. But this is, as of this video, the most up-to-date. You can see BIOS mode here. We are in UEFI. You can see some information about the CPU there, folks. Uh, and, of course, you have the ability in here to uh, disable Turbo Boost if you wanted to, to, to drop this thing down and use less power, keep it cooler. Uh, but right now, obviously, no problems with this CPU cooler. Now, if we come over here, right now we're on CPU. If we click that, we see some information about memory. Click on that. We see we have no drives assembled, but you see this does have two M.2s. We've got four SATA ports, which uh, nothing is installed on. See the fan info. Now, uh, I did the BIOS update, so check that video out um, using this M flash. We click here on hardware monitor. You see a lot of the same stuff, uh, CPU temp, CPU socket, system, MOS, all right. And that is pretty much all I want to show you on easy mode. Let's click on, uh, oh, if you wanted to change your boot priority, assuming you have, like, I've got a thumb drive in here. Of course, it's not going to update automatically, but... Uh, you know, that is all we have for drives hooked up. So you would be able to change your boot priority there. All right. Well, I guess one more thing before we go to advanced mode. If you want to take a screenshot of your uh, BIOS and the settings, which is always good if you do uh, something like a BIOS update, because sometimes things change in here. Um, so that's always a good thing. All right, advanced So this is advanced. Uh, you see XMP profile here again. A lot of the same info. Now if we click over here on settings, and I'm just going to run through these. I'm probably not even going to say too much unless something jumps out at me. See some info here. More info. Uh, advanced. So we'll try and open up most of these menus just so you guys can see them. Some of these you have to hit escape to get out of. Others, you've got to click back. Boot. Boot options. So, save and exit there if you wanted to. All right, OC. Now, in here is Turbo Boost. If you wanted to disable that, you could turn it off. And this should be also where uh, you can change your power limits as well. Uh, hyper threading is in there. Advanced RAM configuration. So this is all timing related stuff. And you might have to pause your screen. That'd take too long to go through all those. Um, did you all CPU specification? Memory Z. CPU features, and that's going to do that for that menu. Um, M flash here. Okay, OC profile, hardware monitor. So you've already seen that. Security. You have a few options in here. Trusted computing. Back to that chassis intrusion. And secure.
secure boot. All right, folks. So that's going to do it for this quick BIOS overview. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.